Hello everyone, welcome to dot to dot and today uh, I just was looking around the map and I noticed some things. I was going to make a little video about uh, some of the uh, very striking similarities to uh, the basically this uh, the blue uh, 1440 scale and if you've seen my past videos you're well familiar with this. Uh, for uh, those of you that don't know, the 1440 scale is taken off of the uh, what we call the Rochefoucauld map. It was a date there, 1347, and we converted it into today's foot units as a distance. And lo and behold, it happened to match the distance from the end stone to the headstone, doubled out to the north anchor, which is one of the uh, landmark features on the map and uh, we adopted that as a scale and I think it's pretty relevant because it basically locates pretty much everything on this map. Uh, one of the things that the, the 1440 scale from the end stone out to the oak entrance <clears throat> is 1440 feet. Uh, the other thing is is uh, from Triangle 2 to the South Anchor is 1,440 feet and also to Triangle 2 to the North Anchor is 1,440 feet. And one thing that, and this is how, where I was starting out with with uh, making this video is I wanted to call to people's attention that these two angles here uh, from tri uh, Triangle 2 creates a 40 degree angle and this right here the end stone to the north anchor to the oak entrance creates a 40 degree angle and I find that very interesting because the number 40 comes up a couple of times uh, but not as uh, <clears throat> it doesn't come up as angles but it comes up as a depth and uh, it it's just interesting that these that that number was used uh, to, uh, and it is being shown here as 40 degrees. But what's also interesting too is that this angle here, that is off of Nolan's cross pointer here, the angle here for the hole is 40 degrees. The angle from here to triangle 2 is 40 degrees, and they are very, very close. They are not exact 40 degrees, but within, well within a half a degree. And then we have the valve, which is approximately 40 degrees, within a degree. And then the end stone, which is 40 degrees. This is a 40 degree angle. This is a, these two this angle and this angle are exactly 40 degrees. This one's maybe off like less, you know, like less than a half a degree. And this one is, uh, this one's off uh, almost a degree. So this is a little above 40. This one is pretty much uh, just slightly above 40. This one is exactly 40. This one is exactly 40. So they are within a degree of 40 degrees. And I just find that very interesting that these uh, uh, angles show up in this. It just shows me intelligent design and that uh, the placement of these. And if you watch my previous shows, all these, all these uh, locations for every one of these has several references, several different references. And I'm hoping to make a video uh, that won't be too long that will go through how each one of these are, are basically located. And they're located through La Formula, through the Rochefoucauld map, through Nolan's data, through the 1937 uh, survey data, and also through somewhat speculative, but the 90-foot stone. 
and all these are tying in and you know now we have this right here which is still pretty much uh, you know weighing on my mind as far as uh, its origin and the fact that it is showing the same symbols as La Formula and the 90 foot stone and that there's new information on here that is not in La Formula or the 90 foot stone which the north datum adjustment is one of them uh, the distance from the altar or the no the solar azimuth heading is not in there which is 145 and <clears throat> It just, uh, it's, I, I'm just baffled by this. And another thing that, that pretty much also makes me wonder is, is this the person that Philip Stevenson on the show, is this his ancestor? That I wanna know because if it is, this guy died in 1916. The deciphering of the 90-foot stone through the Kempton cipher wasn't until 1949. So that means he had prior knowledge to how to read these symbols prior to 1949. So Kempton, if that's true, then Kempton didn't figure it out, maybe he knew it, or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> I just wanted to show you guys uh, this interesting fact about 40 degrees on how it is um, the, the 40 degree angle is pretty much prevalent through this. And I find it interesting too that each one of these uh, stones is corresponding to one of the locations on Zena's map. So that that's just a interesting note on a Sunday afternoon. I thought you just uh, might want to look that out. Now, also before I go to, is you know maybe uh, John at the Quest of Oak Island, he can get some information from uh, Philip Stevenson to see if, if this, is this the person he's talking about? It would be very interesting to know. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll talk to you later.